Tensions have reached boiling point. Civic movement Mangawung concerned community is demanding jobs, land and service delivery. Malicious damage to property inside Bramfisher building has also been reported. Police have impounded motor vehicles which were used to block the streets. What we want, uh, we want new leadership that will be regardless who is going to lead, that will be inclusive of locals. One of the things that we know for a fact is that administrators who, who are people that are employed within Mangaung, the management, all of them are not from Mangaung. That shows you that we are marginalized as locals of Mangaung. There must be hard rock evidence that points us in a, in a direction of some inexorability that the situation is so bad that we have no choice but to dissolve this council. We are not saying here that that is the route that we are going to take. The MEC has yet to apply his mind to this matter. It's not a decision that you take very lightly, especially barely five months after uh, local government elections. The protests come amid days of water cuts in most parts of Mangawung due to poor infrastructure. It has been two years since the metro was placed under administration. Last week, Parliament's Select Committee on Cooperative Governance threatened to dissolve the Metro Council. It found that the situation is deteriorating despite a new administration. It says political instability continues to cripple the municipality. Trash is lying all over the place, making it difficult for everyone to access the building. For the past two days, there have been people who are protesting, uh, making demands related to service delivery. We are, as the city, you know, we've elevated the problem. Different uh, spheres of government are interacting with the intention of bringing a permanent solution into this problem. Uh, the only worrying factor it's when ordinary citizens of Maung cannot use the facility. So we are looking uh, 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 towards a solution. We want to be given a guidance as to how should we move forward, uh, uh, looking at how things stand at the moment. The parliamentary committee is expected in Mangaung this Thursday and Friday to engage with stakeholders and assess progress. Kamohelo Siegui, SABC News, Bloemfontein.